Good morning, everybody, if that's when you're watching it. Uh, Analog Arcade here playing Banjo-Kazooie. I'm Rocky. I'm Sergio. And I'm next to introduce myself. <laughs> and we're going to play a game none of us have ever played before. I've only seen other people play it. Isn't that wild? Aren't we crazy? <laughs> I don't, whoa, whoa. I, I don't know anything about this other than you have to collect puzzle pieces. Correct? Yes. Yes. The main pieces are puzzle pieces. And I think the bad guy is that castle. And the skulls, <laughs> the skulls say Ekum Bukum. What? They do. I think Sergio's leading on a little bit more yeah. than what he told us. No, I swear. <laughs> I swear I've never played it. I I've swear. seen other people play it. It looks like Captain Crunch in the it wall. Does. It does. <laughs> it totally does. Everything is super exaggerated. But I mean, like, back then they had, like, what, four pixels to work with? God, I love these graphics. Look ah. at that. That looks great. Dingpot, dingpot by the bench. Who is the nicest looking wench? Well, it's Grunty any day. She really takes my breath away. <laughs> well, the pot is the alive. The pot was speaking back to her? Yeah, I was wondering. I thought it was the doorknob. <laughs> <laughs> I have a thing with old games like this where... I just uh, There's a certain graphic level that I just can't replay for some reason. And are you at this level right here? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, could, I couldn't, like... On my own, I couldn't play this game. Dude, you are obsessed with Fable, and that is just over the, the fence with this. <laughs> I know! <laughs> it really no, is! Sir. Fable is far beyond this. Mm. Fable is so good. Mm. It was beyond its time. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't, we'll never know, because we never finished doing our playthrough of Fable. That's you. I know. That's all you, man. <laughs> I, I think this looks great. I mean, for what it is, yeah. For the time that it was in. I think it looks charming now. When does this game come out, Sergio? Uh, 1996. And now look it up and <laughs> I know, I just guessed. <laughs> <laughs> if it's 1996, I'm gonna fucking be super excited. I mean, for a Mario 64 ripoff, yeah, it's pretty good. I don't think it was 96, because that's... I think the N64 came out in... Yo, I thought 96? that was a pile of leaves. 95? The, oh, yeah, you're right. God, this is so much like Banjo. Hi there, Tootie. Uh, what are you going to do today? <laughs> Is that what you're going with? <laughs> when my big lazy brother wakes oh, up, no. we're going on an adventure. Oh, it was 98. <laughs> Tilly, what happened to your voice? <laughs> <laughs> Imposter. Alright. Oh, God. Just let me play. <laughs> <laughs> Why does the bird not get a bed? Why is... He's the pet. Kazooie's not a pet. Kazooie's a partner. And it's a she. Again, it seems like you know a lot about this I've game. I've seen Sergio. other people play it. Wait, does the witch just live around the corner from... Is that your brother? Why would that be her brother? <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> Look, up there in the sky. She's like a little middle school kid. I can do a backflip. <laughs> <laughs> that mole really shouldn't point like that. Wow, they really do just live next door to each other. What the hell? Those hot fries aren't even that hot. I could eat like a dozen guys. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's getting closer, please. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I forgot to start the timer. <laughs> oh, no. Look at us. Uh, oh, no, she's got her. Somebody, remember. help. How can... He could sleep through anything. Oh, that's... Man, same, dude. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's the premise of this game. If he hadn't been asleep, it would have just been over. I mean, he is a bear. I'm pretty sure he can just, like, maul the witch. Dude, I'll, I'll be snoring and getting elbows to my back, and I'm not waking up. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Steve Austin over here. <laughs> Steve Austin? I say I'm a light sleeper. Lorena says otherwise. Oh, finally. I think I'm just, I think I'm just like, attuned to my own snoring, and since I snore real loud, whatever's going to wake me up has to be louder than that snoring. <laughs> <laughs> D can you pull Kazooie out yet? Uh, if there's a button for it, I haven't figured it out. Okay. <laughs> oh, hold on, it's my cue. <clears throat> he reminds me of the guy from Jurassic Park that steals the vials. Oh, Listen gosh. Up. <laughs> he looks like I'm it. Bottles. Is that the name we're going with? Oh, yep. my voice line's over. <laughs> <laughs> Banjo talks. That's weird. I never sure imagined him to strange talk. looking buddy Banjo can't... Did I read that right? Can I just <laughs> talk? Are you okay? Are you having a stroke? <laughs> 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 My dyslexia is kicking in. <laughs> the voice of Kazooie reminds me of the the dog of wisdom. The, oh, the pow, 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 pow. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's the voice Kazooie's getting. The dog of wisdom. Calm down, Kiki. We'll oh, get her God, back. Where did she go? 
Bop, bop. The flew up into the hair of Mountain Lair. It's really dangerous, so you'll probably need it's some training before you okay. go up there. <laughs> it doesn't seem that far or that dangerous. <laughs> For real. Oh, this is still my voice line. Um, <laughs> uh, damn it. Uh, <laughs> I've seen Jurassic Park. I don't trust you. Cool. Now we just I know. now we just stare at each other. I guess. <laughs> yeah. For <laughs> well, that's what I did. Okay. Every time I think of the guy from Jurassic Park, I want to call him Newman. Same. Damn well, his name is Nedry, but I'm pretty sure everyone calls his him name's Newman. Nedry. Nedry, yeah. Why? What? That's such a weird name. So, fun fact. Um, not really a fun fact. Just something that happened. Uh, for Christmas, Lorena got me. They came out with these new Jurassic Park toys of like all the old cast. And so I have Samuel L. Jackson, and I have Jeff Goldblum. But the the Nedry one is worth like 80 bucks online right now. Why? And we it's saw, rare? Yeah. And we saw it at Target. Because it, it's Nedry with... <laughs> a, it's Nedry with... <laughs> God damn it. Sorry. <laughs> it's Nedry with the Dilophosaur that he gets killed by. Oh, shit. Yeah, so it's, it's real neat, and it's worth a lot of money right now. Did you buy it at Target? No, because I was like, oh, that'd be cool. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't have Jeff Goldblum. I have, um... What's his name? I have the old man. No no expenses spared. Yes, the the, the doctor, no right? Yeah. Not the doctor. The 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 owner. Yeah, the owner. Oh, okay. The proprietor. Hammond. John the, Hammond. Yeah, John Hammond. The the proprietor. Exactly. Well, you got that real southern <laughs> plantation owner kind <laughs> yeah. of voice going. Even Weird. though he did not. I'm just an old southern dinosaur rancher. <laughs> Actually just sounded like Sergio doing a voice. <laughs> Shut up. A dinosaur rancher? Oh god, I need that. I can oh, move the good. camera now. Oh god. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> That's another reason I can't play these old games. Just cameras are terrible. Oh yeah, it was such a confusing concept to have a camera. 3D was new. Remember yeah. that. <laughs> Thank you, K Kazooie. I was Yo. about to call him Kukui. <laughs> <God damn it. laughs> Did y'all have the Kukui growing up? Uh, the Boogeyman? Uh, yeah, the Kukui. It's the Boogeyman. I mean, we had the boogeyman too, but we also had the kukui. Let me out. <laughs> it, it was one of those things where, like, oh yeah, the boogeyman's scary, but the kukui. The kukui. The kukui is outside. The awesome. boogeyman is inside. There we go. It's like, oh, okay, if you don't want to come, the kukui is going to get you. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it's like, come in from playing now. Ah, oh, like five more minutes in the in the backyard, Grandma. And they're like, okay, but, you know, <laughs> you belong to the kukui now. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like, I don't know how many times I've heard that, like, in a grocery store and then just... <laughs> <laughs> just a kid starts crying. <laughs> I'm like, my god, I don't he's want been traumatized. <laughs> Come on, or the kukui's gonna get you. Eh, nah, don't start crying, otherwise Lachusa's gonna get you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> don't make that face or it'll stay that way. The chupacabra's gonna come get you. Horns. <laughs> I don't know. I guess do. I guess white families just don't threaten their kids as much. Are you kidding <laughs> I me? didn't hear none of that. G German families do it. Oh yeah, they do. But. <laughs> You know. What do German families have? They have uh, Krampus. Yeah, Krampus oh. is terrifying. <laughs> I guess that's all they need. There's huh? a... I don't know if y'all ever watched... What's that show uh, with the, the animated kids and they have the puberty monsters? Oh, uh, oh Big, Big, Big Mouth. Big Mouth. Big Mouth. They have an episode where they have these two Swedish girls talking about a Christmas weasel or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or Christmas mongoose that has to fight off another Christmas monster. Probably a snake, right? Because mong mongoose eat snakes. Something like that. Mongoose? I don't think it was a snake. I don't think that's right. I think it was like a scorpion monster. Why would it not be mongoose? Because the plural of go <laughs> the plural of goose is geese. <laughs> yeah, <but> that's <laughs> mongoose. Mongai. Mongooses. <laughs> no. Mon mon I, I refuse. Mo Mongoloid. Plural of mong. Mongooses, also mongooses. Oh, see, it's so bold. Surprise, surprise, Sergio's wrong. Oh, uh, no, I, mine was right, too. Oh, oh, it's oh, bold. No. <laughs> That's bullshit. <laughs> I remain the most clever of the analogs. That's, that's not even the right word. That's, that wouldn't make you clever. Of the Arcadians. <gasps> are, are, we Ar Arcadians? are we Arcadians? Ooh. I like that. Are we analogians? That sounds real fantasy. Like, I know. <laughs> I like Arcadians. I think Arcadian is a thing. <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> I don't think we want to be Arcadians. Hold on. All right. Another another uh, step into Carlos's Google corner. <laughs> <laughs> As we're referring to it now. <laughs> who were? Who were? That's not how you spell were. How do you spell were? The 
Arc. It's not how you spell it. Oh, hold on. Arcadian. Oh, Archaic. Arcadian. Archaic just means old. I know, but Arcadian. Oh. Uh, you. Was that cauliflower? Yeah. They called it a collie wobble, I think. You know, you know what really pisses me off? These fucking people trying to tell me that cauliflower pizza is just as good as regular pizza. Well, they damn well know it's not. I mean, it, it, it's just the crust, isn't it? Yeah, but it, it tastes. You could taste the cauliflower in the crust. Can I? I wouldn't know. I've never had. You know what I have had? Um, cauliflower mashed potatoes. That shit slaps my ass. No, it's fucking good. <laughs> it's not it is good. <laughs> cauliflower mashed potatoes can get it. I'm always looking for the new hot thing to slap my ass. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what is that word, Rocky? Highlighted in blue. Uh, Greek. No. <laughs> <laughs> The one, the one below it, goddammit. <laughs> Peloponnese? Sure. Central Peloponnese. Let's see where that's at. Oh, that's a place. Are no. you going down a Wikipedia hole now? Oh, no, so like, so Ar Arcadia is a place located in Central Peloponnese. Okay, that's all we need to know. It's a place, so that means it's nothing. So we can use it for well, us. I, didn't, I didn't want it to be like, oh, the Arcadians were a religious faction that believe in sodomy. Like, I don't... It's a, What's wrong with sodomy? <laughs> it's a section of Greece. Okay, there you go. There. We're Arcadians now. We're Arcadians. Or Arcadiolas, depending on what you want. Mm, I like Vote now. It's kind of sexy. Arcadiolas. <laughs> it, it makes me think of areolas. Yeah, man, it's just, it's just arcade and my last name put together. Oh. <laughs> Why is it so sexy? I, I, <laughs> Just kidding. I don't know. I've been told that I have a very nice last name, and yet I don't see it. My name's simple, and I like that. What is it again? Let's all dox each other. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, my information's out there. Liao. <laughs> I know. I was gonna say, don't they already know who we are? They sh it oh. doesn't really matter. I don't know about Rocky. Hell I know yeah. they know me. No, except for Rocky Robertson. Oh Let no, Robertson. <laughs> Rocky Robert Robertson. I wish. All of, I wish Rocky had like 12 names and they all started with R. <laughs> <laughs> Rocky Rockwell when Rockwell. <laughs> when Rockwell. Hey Rock Rocco, how's the uh, how's the game going? It's going pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I'm learning a bunch of new stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. I'm getting real sick of this kid. Yeah. I know. Hey, Bango. Bango. <laughs> <laughs> the J's silent. Or the G, the D. Yeah, yeah, I was all like, wait a minute. <laughs> y'all just let me do that. Why, why'd y'all let me do that? <laughs> I look I like a fool. I didn't even notice. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos, I was just like, yeah, man. That makes sense to me. I was like thinking about it. I was like, wait a minute. Well, because, no, because you said bango. So like the J was still silent. No, the, no, it's not. <laughs> wait, yeah, it is. <laughs> he, changed, he changed the it's J to a G. <laughs> bango. Oh, <laughs> and there's nothing silent. He just well, changed the letter. Well, because you said Bango, and I was thinking Django, like Django, and I was like, yeah, it's the J is silent, like in Django. <laughs> Django, <laughs> the D silent. I know. <laughs> God damn it. We're idiots. Look, man, I'm just like. Thanks, guys. Thanks for sharing that humiliation. <laughs> yeah, sure. I no, no, I it's all yours. <laughs> Use the control stick to swim on the surface, to swim underwater, press B to dive, go on, give it a try. They seem like mechanics that we can learn as as it comes up. They won't let me do it though. Like I've tried pressing all these buttons and nothing happened until he said I could do it. He's the gatekeeper. Apparently so. He is, you are the key master. If he's, mm. he's so powerful and he doesn't help that stupid mole. Right? <laughs> I have the ability to limit your abilities <laughs> and yet I live in this hole. I live in this hole. <laughs> Oh, the witch? Yeah, I could take her down with a snap of my fingers. But it's not my little sister she took. Fuck that. <laughs> I don't care about that little fucking bitch. <laughs> I was trying to warn her and she was doing backflips and eating Takis. I don't know. Eating I don't know. <laughs> takis, Arizona tea, and fucking fake nails. That bitch is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> is Arizona tea a, a basic thing? It used to be back in the day. I think, what is it now? Monster? Is no, that... it's um, White Claw. No, for, in White school. White Claw's coming gone. <laughs> Top, Topo Chico. Everyone's Do all about Chico. Oh, yeah, Topo Chico. Chico. I've never had it. It's just sparkling water. That's what I've heard. But so, like, it's, it's it's better than, like, per Persia or whatever the other one's called. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's that green one, right? Yeah, the that green French? one. What's it? <laughs> it's like Perger. Pergro. Perro. It's, per <laughs> yeah, it's better yeah. than falsifying government information. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it's better than stealing money from your own company. <laughs> That's called embezzlement. Ah, uh, man, White Claw, better than money laundering. <laughs> yeah. For sure. <laughs> For sure. What's... There's... Uh, seltzers... There's so many seltzers now, it's just... There's even a Lone Star seltzer. I know. Oh, dude, and what is ranch water, and why is Dos Equis getting in on that? It's a, it's a hard seltzer. <laughs> ranch water. Mm-hmm. It just sounds gross. It, it sounds like if you got, like, a cow pie and wrung it out and put it into a cup. Oh, that's not what I was thinking before. <laughs> that's much worse not. than what I could have thought of. I was just thinking, like, ranch, like, you know, ranch dressing, but, like, fil water uh, water filtered through ranch dressing. What the, ugh, gag, gag warning, sorry. <laughs> I was thinking, like, of an, like an actual ranch. <laughs> Why does that gross you out more than a fucking... <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, I saw... Uh, Bear Grylls, I was going to say Ted Bear from Side Night and Happy. Uh, I saw Bear Grylls uh, drink out of a cow, uh, I mean an elephant dunk. He like just, he was all like, these things are packed with liquid. And he just like squeezed oh, into his mouth. No. <laughs> Why, Bear? My man. The, the, the point of Man vs. Wild was just to see how many crazy things Bear Grylls could drink pee out of. I know. That's it. It's I've awful. seen him do it out of a snake skin. I've seen him, I guess you've seen it out of elephant dung. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's all like, I'm drinking about 40 barrels worth of <laughs> urine in my life. I Under am, the bridge. Okay. I am as pure of a human being as you can get. <laughs> I am 90% my own liquids. <laughs> he's all like, I am one step away from cannibalism. <laughs> I mean, really. I, mean, I know, yeah. It really is just like a sidestep of cannibalism. God, it's cannibalism with more step, with extra steps. <laughs> Jeez. Do y'all yeah. remember that one episode where he saved his crew member from getting hit by a train? No. What? You're lying. No, I don't this believe is a, you. Oh, no, 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 fuck no. you. This is a real thing. This what is, is a real he thing. doing around trains? So, <laughs> in the wild. So, like they come out of the bushes out of nowhere? No, because you, you know how every episode ends where he's like, oh, road, come on. And he just like dead sprints to whatever random truck <laughs> or boat. <laughs> They're just like a deer or an armadillo just getting hit by a train. <laughs> yeah. So because he'll be like, he'll like find his way back to like the main road or whatever like leads That's to like the That's like the goal always. It's, yeah. It's to survive until you can find civilization. So sometimes he finds like, but it's like convenient because sometimes he'll find always. like a creek and he's like, oh hell yeah, and a fisher, a local fisherman. Let's talk to him about getting a ride back to town. And the fisherman's or, like, fucking Nazis. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's just getting in more trouble. So there was this one instance where they're like, okay, we'll follow the tracks until we find like a good clearing. And so they're walking through a train tunnel. And cause oh, that's, a good, shit. that's a good idea. That's a horrible idea. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, he's like, hold on, stop, stop, stop. Like, he's like super serious. And he gets on the floor and he feels the track. Mm. And he turns around and he goes, run. And so they start fucking like booking it. Oh, and, shit. and like, you start to see like the train light behind him. And so everyone's booking it to get out of the tunnel. And uh, the cameraman is running and he fucking falls. Oh, and no. And you just see Bear Grylls like taking off and you're like, wow, this dude's dead. And he stops and turns. He runs back for him and like grabs him by his backpack and fucking like you gotta Drags get up, him. let's go and like <laughs> throws him up. The dude gets up and they like dive out of the train, out of the tunnel, like out of the way of the train. Jesus! And as soon as they dive out of the way, they get back up and Bear's like, "Come on, we gotta get on the train. We gotta get on the train." Oh <laughs> <Like>, god! <laughs> so they get on the train and they they go away. But you know how like one camera guy always stays behind to like record him. Yeah. Going away. So, but it was just it was one of those things. And apparently it was real. Like it was. I think they were supposed to find the train, but like Not he like wasn't that. supposed to fall. <laughs> so he's it's all like the the train's early. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's just one of those things that like people would always complain that oh man versus wild is so scripted because he's got a crew with him and this and that. But like Bear really eats all that stuff, and yeah. sometimes I mean, the, the crew eats all that stuff too. Even if it's even if it's scripted, I, I, to, to some extent, it's just like. A, so, a lot of it's real. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's actually out there. You guys remember Dual Survival? No. Nope. The one with the guy who never wore shoes and the one who's like an ex-soldier and they fucking hate each other. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Put him on a show. Yeah. I think, I don't know if they actually hate each other, but they just have like differences because one's like ex-military and he's like, you do what you got to do to survive. And the other one's like a hippie who never wears shoes. And he's like, it's all about nature, man. And you know, <laughs> respecting it and protecting it and never wearing shoes. And so, like, and him not wearing shoes is, like, a constant, like, gets them in trouble. <laughs> He's all like, oh, I, I cut my foot. Or like, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. But, like, as a result, like, his feet are just, like, full calluses. Oh, like, God. Like, he, he can, he's impervious to almost anything, except for one time they threw them in, like, a snow tundra or whatever. Oh. And he was like, this is where I draw the line. And he puts on socks. <laughs> and he's, he's like, I swore to never wear shoes 
but if it gets cold enough, I will wear socks. Oh my god. Yeah, it's it's pretty crazy, man. That whole era of, like, go out and survive. That's when Discovery was good. Yeah. When Discovery showed, like, actual things. They did have one show where the guy didn't, um, didn't actually have a camera crew. It was just him. Like, he went out there and they dropped him off and then they'd come pick him up in a helicopter. Yeah, I, I forget what that was. Yeah, what show was that? There was a few of those where, like, oh, this is a real survival show, but what was it? I'm Ted Bear.